الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الحبت في الله continue on in our studies of هذه عقيدتنا ودعوتنا by شيخنا مقبل بن هادي الوادعي الله يرحمه the sheikh said in his treaties <coughs> نحب أهل الحديث وصاير السلف الأمة من أهل السنة. Very very uh, important aspect of the treaties as well. So the Sheikh said, we love أهل الحديث, the people of Hadith, وصاير السلف الأمة, and the rest of the salaf of this Umma من أهل السنة. So here again as a part of ah, the, the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah is that they love Ahl Sunnah that they have a love for Ahl Sunnah team Wal Jama'ah and that they love Ahl Hadith, Ahl Afar those people who spent their lives serving the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam collecting a Hadith, transmitting Hadith relating Hadith, narrating Hadith seeking knowledge to gain Hadith and spreading that those Hadith teaching those hadith, uh, etc. All of those things, they make up Ahl hadith. And the also included in that is those, of course, peop the people who derive the ahkam of the hadith and the fiqh of the hadith and the aqidah. And they are Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. And those people are beloved to Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and Ahl Hadith are entered into the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said, La tazal ta'ifatum min ummati ala haq zahirin hatta taqum as sa'a mutafakun alayhi. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there won't cease to be a group from my nation uh, that is on the truth. You know, that's, op that's open and victorious on the truth until the hour is established. Meaning that Ahl Hadith, Ahl Sunnah, they will be, uh, they will be victorious and they will be apparent throughout time. And that they are Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, they are the Firqa Tanajia. Imam Noah always said about this narration, قال وهذه طائفة من عنوان المؤمنين ممن ممن يقيمون أمر الله من مجاهد وفقيه ومحدث وزاهد والآمر بالمعروف وغير ذلك. Imam Noah we said about this, this hadith, he said, and that is a group, we're talking about the Taifa, the group, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Latizal Taifa, there won't cease to be a group. So Imam Noah we said that this group is from the various types of the believers, from those people who establish the commands of Allah, the commandment of Allah, from the Mujahid from the uh, the fiqhi, the person of, you know, the, of jurisprudence, the fuqaha, and the muhaddith, those people who preserve the ha hadith, you know, and, and study hadith and teach hadith. And the zahid, the person who the, is uh, ascetic, who does not, uh, you know, involve and indulge themselves excessively in this worldly life but instead that they they have a love for that the hereafter more than they love of this life and so they sacrifice much of this life in order to uh, gain the benefits of the hereafter and also the one who commands the good and forbids the evil Qala Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala meaning Shaykh Mukhbil Imam Ahmed 
إن لم يكونوا أهل الحديث فلا أدري منهم ولكن يقال إن الأهل العلم المتمسكين بالعلم والأهل الحديث العاملين بالحديث داخلون دخولا أولويا This is a beautiful statement of Sheikh Mufbil in his explanation when he was, he was explaining the statement of Imam Nawawi and this hadith. The Sheikh said, Rahmatullah he said, the speech of, of Nawawi is the truth. And there is no, uh, no, there can be no criticism of it. Even though Imam Bukhari said, that they are the people of knowledge, saying that this, this hadith was in reference to Ahl al-Ilm. And Imam Ahmed said about this hadith, he said, and if this hadith does not refer to the people of hadith, Ahl al-Hadith, then I don't know who it, it refers to. So the Shaykh said, with regards to that, he said, however, uh, he said that the people of knowledge are those the people who adhere to the knowledge and ahl hadith are those who practice the hadith they enter into this first and foremost so letting us know that this is in reference to ahl hadith and, and the ulama of hadith and the ulama of fiqh like imam anawi and imam uh, bukhari and imam ahmed and these great imams, these mountains of knowledge, these preservers of the sunnah, that they, that what they were saying was basically essentially the same. So we would say this is ikhtilaf to nowhere. You know, that there's some differences in the uh, statement itself, but the meaning is the same. That this hadith refers to the people of knowledge, ah, the hadith, those preservers of the, the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It also refers to the mujahid, those fighting fi sabilillah. And it also refers to those who are practicing and commanding the good and forbidding the evil, the righteous. Those all make up ah, the sunnah, wal jama'ah. They are all those who are haq, mu'mineen haq. They adhere to kitab illa wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as we already mentioned, the Prophet said, Khayr al ummati qarni thumma ladini yirunuhum thumma ladini yirunuhum. The Prophet said, The best people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. This is referring to the Salaf of this Ummah. Those are the Mu'mineen, the Mutamasikeen, uh, those adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah who preserve, and the Salaf is first, those first three generations. That's who the Salaf of this Ummah, that's what's meant by that. And Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah adheres to the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah. Ahl Sunnah Huma Ladina Yaktaduna bi Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi akwalihi wa amalihi wa takriratihi wa akhlaqihi. Shaykh Mukbil Rahmatullah alayhi said also in another of his books, Makhraj uh, Minal Fit, min Fitna. Or Makhraj al Fitna, the Shaykh said, Rahimullah Ta'ala, he said, Ahl Sunnah, they are those who adhere to the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his statements, his actions, those things he approved of, and his manners. That all makes up a Sunni, that all makes up a Salafi, all of those characteristics that they adhere to the Sunnah Kamil. That that's what they're striving to do. Doesn't mean they don't have deficiency as an individual. But this is what makes up someone who the Salafi Minhaj or the Sunni Minhaj or the Minhaj of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. This is what makes up Ahl Athar and Ahl Hadith is that they are those who adhere to the statements of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the actions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and those things that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam approved of and the manners of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala bless us to be from them Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen and forgive us of our many, many shortcomings with, in this regard The Muassisa Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah Huwa Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
the one who started the da'wah of Ahlus Sunnah is the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That is that is the leader of the Sunnah. So we don't say it started with Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab. We don't say it started out with Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah. We don't say it started out even with Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. But we say it started with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was the leader. He's our Imam. The Imam of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. The Asl, the Muassis of that Madhab sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is a beautiful statement by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, and I think we'll end by this. This is a fantastic statement. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahmatullahi and this is sufficient for us. قال وَمَذْهَبْ أَحْنَ سُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَعَةِ مَذْهَبْ قَدِيمٍ معروف قبل أن يخلق الله تعالى أبا حنيفة ومالك وشافع وشاف وشافعي وأحمد فإنه مذهب الصحابة الذين تلقوه عن نبيهم عن نبيهم صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن خالف ذلك كان مبتدعا عند أهل السنة والجماعة. Fantastic, beautiful statement suffices for us. The lesson is over. Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said, رحمة الله عليه. He said the method of أهل السنة والجماعة. The way or the the Methodology of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah is an old method and it's well known. And it existed or it came before Allah created Abu Hanifa and Imam Malik and Imam Shafi'i and Imam Ahmed Rahimahumullah Jami'an. For verily, it is the madhab of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, those who transmitted from their Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And whoever differs with this, or differs with them in their madhab, they are a mubtadi'ah, they are an innovator to Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah. Ahl Sunnah holds them to be innovators if they differ with the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een in their madhab, in their minhaj, in their aqidah, etc. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Hadith and bless us to be from Ahl Athar and bless us to be from Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah and may Allah be pleased with the Ahl Sunnah and help Ahl Sunnah wherever they may be and protect them from the evil of the Rafida and the evil of the Tikfiris and the evil of the Khawarij and the evil of all those other sects and the secularists and the liber and the liberals, those people who make thawan of the madhab of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah and the madhab of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah belittle all those people and guide them or dispose of them and protect us from their evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.